Hello guys, what's going on? I am Eris from Gamerds and by popular demand I'm making a part 2 video of settings and how to use Kodi and how to set your settings and what the best settings are. Here we go. Before we get started on all this amazing settings I got for you guys, you're going to be an expert by the time we're done with this video. Uh, our wallpaper. If you like that wallpaper, go to gamers.com. We got tons of IPTV, Cody, wallpaper. We got your needs. We got that wallpaper and tons more and we're adding new ones all the time. Okay. So, to get going. There's a lot of cool settings in Kodi. There, you can do a lot with Kodi. I mean, if you can think of it, chances are you can probably do it. It's just knowing how to get there. Now, some of these settings are going to be for uh, newbies, and some are going to be for more advanced people. We got to cover everybody, right? There's new people using Kodi every day. Okay, first one we'll do is uh, parental control how to put a pin on Cody. Uh, so we'll go to systems and we'll go to TV over here. First thing you want to do though before you do any settings is go down here to the setting settings level and you can change it. And as you can see the higher you go in the settings level the more options you get. So if you want to enable all the options just make the settings level into expert and then you can do everything in there. Okay, so once we go to systems and then uh, go to TV, we're gonna go down here to parental control and then slide over to your right, enable that, and then you can make a password. Confirm the password, and there you go. Now you have a pin, and if you got little ones, you don't want them on here. There you go. That's how you do it. That easy. Subtitles. Lots of options you can do with subtitles. Lots of different things you can do. Different languages, fonts. Show you how to do that right here. We're going to click on systems. We're going to go to videos and move down to subtitles here. So you can change the language of the subtitles. So if you got a preferred language, you just click on that button here and you can select the country. So if it's available in that language, it'll autom automatically do that language. So that's a preferred subtitle language right there. You can, the, the position of subtitles on the screen, you can move that around if you want. Bottom of video, below video, top of video, above video. So you can put that wherever you like. And then it's got that 3D option as well. And then uh, you can have the font font type. There's only two different ones you can pick from, the teletext and uh, Arial. Font size, you can change that to however big you want or small. If you're far away from your TV and you want it bigger, you can change that. Or if you need glasses or if you just want it small so it's not covering up too much of your TV, you can do that as well. Uh, style, you can go from normal, bald, italic, and bald italic. Color, you can select from these, what is it, eight, two, four, six, eight, yep. From yellow, white, blue. So depending on the movie you're watching, if it's a bright movie, you don't want white, right? If it's a dark one, Depending on what movie you're watching, you can change that as you go. Character set. So, I mean, it's covered worldwide here. Language to download subtitles from, or for. Again, it is really diverse. It covers a lot of different languages. 
Nobody's left out here. Play next video. I know this one's a good one. I use this one a lot myself. If you're watching a TV show, for example, with this one, you can uh, auto set it to play the next video. So if you're watching a season of a TV show, you don't have to keep going back, selecting it, finding a player. It'll auto play all that, all the videos in that file that you're in. And we'll do that by um, going to systems. video and playback and then we'll go down here to play next video automatically so you see how it's grade eight grayed out if you click that so it's blue whatever list or folder you're in and you select a movie or, or a video and it'll just once that video is done it'll go to the next video once that video is done it'll go to the next video really cool and then uh, you can also change the skip skip rate you know how you fast forward you, you can change how far every time you press fast forward it goes and uh, video display here we click on that if you wide zoom stretch depending on the type of TV and the type of setup you have you would select what best suits your uh, your set or your setup I guess audio language so if you notice sometimes when you're watching movies on here you'll click on one and it'll be in like Russian or Chinese or with this setting you can select a language that you prefer and if that language is available for that video you're trying to watch Cody will always recommend that video because it's that language that you you prefer so to do that we'll click on systems go to videos and then playback and we do that by preferred audio language we're going to click on that and then you just select the language that you like and then if you try to watch a video and that language is available for that video, it automatically suggests that video to you. Another thing you can change it in Kodi, which is good for, I guess, uh, weather apps and whatnot, is uh, Fahrenheit and Celsius, miles per hour to kilometers per hour, depending on what, where part of, what part of the world you're in. You can do that. This works really well for weather apps, like I said. So we're going to click on Systems, click on Appearance, then International, and then we'll come down here, and you got your temperature units, regional, which is, that's selected in Fahrenheit. You can change it to um, Celsius, to all these other ones. I'm not sure what they are or what part of the world they're from but you can select it to whatever you like or whatever suits your region and same with uh, miles per hour you can change it to kilometers, meters, foot or feet um, whatever best suits your needs favorites now many of you might know this some of you might not if you see this little star right beside the power button that's your favorite section and you can put uh, live channels in there different add-ons in there movies TV shows whatever you want to easily access you can uh, do that so for example we'll click on we'll just go here quickly uh, click on one channel so on your remote, if you have a remote, you press the menu button, or if you have a keyboard, press the letter C. On any file or movie or whatever you want, you just press the letter C on the keyboard or menu on your remote, and this will pop up, and just click Add to Favorites. And that's it. Then we'll back out of here and go to that star at the bottom left and click on it, and there you go. I put movies in the favorites, and you can go to it from there. So that easy. Once you find a channel or something that you like, throw it in your favorites, then you're not running around looking for it every time you want to watch it.
deleting add-ons. Now, a lot of add-ons go dead. If you download it and you find it's not working or you don't want it, two reasons to get rid of it, security and uh, performance. You don't need dead add-ons on your Kodi, clogging everything up, taking up space. And if you find it's an add-on that's not working and it's not in use, for security reasons, just delete it because that's a portal that other people have direct access into your system and they can put viruses, take your information, whatever they want. So if you're not using it, you find it doesn't work, get rid of it. And to do that, we will go to two ways to do it. The easiest way to do it is go to video add-ons and go on to the add-on that you no longer want on a keyboard, press the letter I and you get this menu to pop up and just hit uninstall and it'll get rid of it, freeze up space, and then you don't have any security reasons or issues to worry about. So that's the easiest way to do it if you have a keyboard. I recommend a keyboard for Kodi, a lot easier to maneuver and do what you need. Another way to do it is go to systems, go to add-ons, uh, my add-ons, We'll go to all, or you can go to video or program or music, depending on the add-on you want to remove. And then just go down, find the add-on that you don't want no more. Click OK on it, and then just hit uninstall. So two ways to uninstall add-ons that no longer work for you or that are obsolete. Another really cool uh, setting and a useful setting, if you notice sometimes when you try to watch a video on Kodi, no matter how much you turn up your sound on your TV or on your surround sound, you still can't hear it. Well, there's a few ways to change that. Uh, one is when you're playing in the video or when you're watching the movie or video, you go down to this little speaker in the circle and click on that and then you'll get this option to pop up. And then there's that volume amplification right here. So if you boost that up, and you can go from barely hearing it to amplified by 26 decibels, and you'll have no problems hearing it. And then w once you get to your desire, desired level, you can just press OK and leave it for that one video, or you can go down here to set as default for all, for all media. So that will save that setting for every file that you watch on Kodi. It'll be amplified and then you'll have no volume controls or no volume issues. So click OK on that. This will reset any previous saved values. Are you sure? Click yes. And there you go. That option is saved for every time you watch a video in Kodi and your volume issues are no longer issues. Another cool setting while you're watching the video, if you go down here to this movie reel, click on that, and there's all these settings you can change on how your video appearance is. Uh, you can zoom in and out, vertical shift, pixel ratio, um, video calibration. So if you find a video isn't fitting your screen you can change it to any size that you want so you can move it around to your desired setting and then just like the audio you can set as uh, default for all media but I'm really not going to do that here um, another thing while you're watching the video I'm just fast forwarding I guess Subtitles, click on that, and you can download subtitles straight from here. You click on that download, it'll download the subtitles that you want, and there you go. Okay, another setting, pretty basic and common setting, but for the newer people, is your shortcuts. So we'll go to systems, click on systems, Go down to appearance and go to slide over to the right and click on settings and go down to shortcuts. 
So once you click on shortcuts, you can slide over to the right, and here you got your, uh, this is on your homepage shortcuts. You got your video, your music, pictures, and programs. So all you gotta do to uh, put the shortcut on your desktop there is click on one of these and select the add-on that you want a shortcut on the desktop or your main screen. It's that simple. So once you got your desired apps you wanted, you back all the way out. And like I said, you can do it for program, music, pictures, videos, and there you go. Nice and easy. So remember to go to gamers.com for all your IPTV, Cody, and other electronic needs. Uh, please subscribe, hit that like button. If there's any, any settings that we didn't do in these videos, and you want to know about please leave a comment at the bottom and we'll get to you we answer a hundred percent of our comments and questions so please leave a comment at the bottom hit that like subscribe to get all our other videos thanks for watching i'll see you guys on the next video have yourself a wonderful weekend